In this video, we'll talk about regulation of gene expression. This means how is the expression of the genes is regulated and this regulation mechanism is different in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So in eukaryotes, this regulation can take place at multiple levels. So here there is a multiple level regulation and what are those levels or what are those steps at which this expression can get regulated? The first one is transcription level. We have seen the process of transcription and here we are talking of transcription means formation of HNRNA first that is formation of primary transcript. And that primary transcript is the HNRNA. So when HNRNA is being synthesized, at that time, this regulation can be controlled. The second step is processing, during processing. So during processing. And what do we mean by processing is, when HNRNA undergoes splicing, to form those exon intron pieces that is the processing step that is splicing time this is also one stage where the regulation can be done third once it has undergone splicing and mrna is formed that is exon exons have joined capping and tailing have has taken place and mrna is formed then when this mRNA comes out of the nucleus to cytoplasm, that time also this can be checked. So during transfer of mRNA from nucleus to cytoplasm, that is to ribosome where the protein is to be synthesized. And the fourth level where again this regulation can be done is during translation. And translation is when the pro protein synthesis or the process of protein synthesis takes place. That means when the mRNA comes and binds with the smaller subunit and the two ribosomal subunits assemble to form a complete ribosome structure and the actual translation process. So there are four steps where this regulation of this gene expression in eukaryotes can take place. It can be checked at any level. In case of prokaryotes, in prokaryotes, it can be regulated by many things. Many things in the sense it can be environmental factor, it can be availability, uh, availability of the resources, anything. But one major thing is, it is regulated by a protein. And this protein is normally termed as accessory protein. In prokaryotes, there are multiple genes which are present in one segment of that DNA piece or RNA piece. And that is why we call it polycystronic. So there are multiple structural genes. And the expression of those genes is regulated by a protein which is going to bind with a site which is known as operator gene. In case of prokaryotes, this, these structural genes, the operator gene, the accessory protein synthesizing gene, they are present in one segment together and all of them can be controlled by one promoter or one operator gene and the expression is regulated by the accessory genes or accessory proteins which are synthesized from them and this complete structure is known as operons. So operons are the structures 
where we would find the structural genes also and the regulatory mechanism. The mechanism by which these genes are going to be transcribed and their transcription can be controlled that is induced also and inhibited also by certain accessory proteins and that complete arrangement is called operons. So now there are two types of operons. One inducible and suppressible. Inducible operon inducible means it is normally in off mode so in normal situation normal situation this operon remains off and it can be turned on as in when required. So it can be turned on. We will take an example of this. The example of this is LAC operon. So we can write that example here. It is LAC operon and the other one is suppressible. Suppressible operon in normal condition remains in on mode. That means it is continuously getting transcribed and whatever is to be synthesized that gets synthesized on a regular level. So it is on normally. It can be turned off as in when required. So it can be turned off. The example of this is tryptophan operon. So this is tryptophan operon and as we said one is normally in off mode we can turn it, or, it on the other one is normally on and we can turn it off or the system can turn it off. So we will talk of these two operons in detail to understand how exactly the operon works and we are going to start with lac operon.